They won't be the first to underestimate. Where to next, buddies? I'll take point. Let's move. Yeah, let's go. You stay here, prisoner. What? Don't try to follow. Us. Stay here. Up. Who knows what can attack me? What if more of those guys come back? What am I to do then? What the? A rat? Okay, there are rats here, buddy. And the wall just ah! fell apart. Come on, die, rats. There we go. Hey, look, a treasure chest. I don't know how well you guys can see there on YouTube, but, uh... I'm gonna point stuff out regardless. Yeah. Shield. I'll take the shield. Hey, you skeleton buddy. You're pretty dead. But hey, you have armor and stuff. I want it. And lockpicks. Can always use lockpicks. And just for the sake of showing stuff off, I'll... I'll use the bow. Just because I figure some of you might be interested. See that bucket there? Well, even if you don't, I'm going to shoot it with my arrow. Bam. And now I'm going to drop it because I don't want to use the arrows. And there's a rat over here. And look, you can actually retrieve the arrows after you shoot them. I think that's pretty cool. Dead goblin! That's that's great, that's what I wanted to see. Holy crap, he just had a seizure. I'll take his iron key and his lockpicks. That's what the iron key went to. Loading screen! Luckily the loading screens really aren't too bad in this game. Considering, you know, it's a pretty big game. Die rat! Hey, I forgot to I forgot to equip that armor and shield I got. There we go. Don't need these anymore. Um. Yep. Hey, more armor. Can always use that. And I'll leave the axe and stuff. I'm not really an axe person. Drop that. We don't need that anymore. Um, as far as the fighting system goes, it's in my opinion very awesome. You use left kick, left click to swing your weapon. You hold it to. Ah! do a more powerful attack like that and you press right click to hold up your shield and C you can use spell the C key hey that's a rat hey it's two more rats what the that's a zombie the rat and the zombie are fighting oh the zombie just killed the rat oh crap Oh my god, what? The zomp? It didn't even have an arm. It had one arm. Okay. I have had about enough undead for one tutorial area. Cause yeah, if you can't tell, that's what this area is. It's the tutorial. Telling me what to do. Which I've already played this game, so I already know. I gotta pick up the potions. I'm not much of a potion person. Some people like using a lot of potions, I don't. Oops. Didn't mean to put my sword away. I only use healing potions. The rest... No. <gasps> Bam! Hey! New shield! New shield! It's better than our old one. There we go. There's a helmet here too, but I don't want it. I'm just not a helmet person. Probably won't wear much helmets in this LP. There's another rat around here somewhere. I know it. I've played this game before. Well, I don't know where it went. It's around here somewhere? There it is. There we go. Let's continue on! Onward! And upward! And yeah, continuing through. More rats. There are way too many rats in this stupid tunnel. How'd this tunnel get made anyways? Because this is not on the secret path. Yeah, that tutorial just told me I can hotkey items, which... Let's do that now. I'll equip the torch. To hotkey an item, you hold down a number, click on the item you want, and let go. So now if I press number one... I equip a torch. Pretty cool. Torches are pretty useful. I tend not to use them a lot, but um, 
I have a feeling the video quality will cause the screen to be darker, so I'll try to use them every now and then. Just so you, the viewer, can see. Okay, here's the sneaking tutorial. I love sneaking in this game. I'm going to use it a lot, but right now, my sneaking skill sucks. So I'm going to unequip the boots. This is sneaking mode. You can see the little eye there. That eye, if it's um, if it's transparent, that means nobody sees you. If it lights up, that means somebody has seen you. I'm sneaking up on that goblin over there, which is, as you can see, very difficult to do because he saw. Ah! Me. He just angles himself in a bad position, and as I said, my sneaking skill sucks. This is a pestle and mortar. Ah, uh, you can use it to make potions. Like so. Click on it. Add two ingredients. Click create. Ta-da! I made damage health poison. I don't want it. As I stated earlier, I'm not one for potions. Here's the lock picking! It's, it's simple. It gets harder depending on the level of the lock. That was a very easy lock, so it's of course very easy. Tripwire! Let's run through it! Ah, oh, crap! Did you see that? Yeah. We would have got hit by those if I didn't step back. The goblin, however, is an idiot. Even though he's probably the one who set up the tripwire. Stupid, stupid goblins. That rat's already dead. I assume the goblins killed him. Hey, logs! Let's push them! Oh, no! The unsuspecting goblins get murdered. Oh, that one didn't die. Crap. Yeah! I fixed that. Let's explore more. Exploring's always a big part of Elder Scrolls games. The same was true with um, Morrowind. Then again, I've only played Oblivion and Morrowind. I haven't played uh, Daggerfall and Arena, the first two. Ha! Bam. Everything's pretty easy in the tutorial. Just, you know, one or two hits. Wow, look at the blood on my sword. See that? That's awesome. Ah, oh, crap! I think I should pay better attention. What do you guys think? There we go. Wraps it up for the goblins. Pick this lock. Hey, that's a repair hammer, and uh, we can use that to repair our armor and our weapon. Like that, but my armor skill sucks, so I broke the hammer already. Let's continue on. This is Let's Play The Elder Scrolls 3 4 Oblivion. Just thought I'd introduce that in case I just happened to cut the video at this point. Probably not, but oh well. Hey, we're back in the temple area. I hear voices. Hey, it's you guys! I'm back! What's up? Oh crap. We're being attacked again? Where are you guys? Bam! Your armor just Damn it, disappeared. It's that prisoner again. Huh? Kill her. She what? might be working with the assassins. Don't kill me. Don't kill no, me. She is not one of them. She can help us. She must help us. What? As you wish, sire. They cannot understand why I trust you. I don't understand They've why not you trust seen me. What I've seen. How can I explain? Listen. You know the nine. How they guide our fates with an invisible hand. Um, the Nine Divine are the, uh, gods for the Imperials. I'm not on good terms with the gods. I've served the Nine all my days, and I chart my course by the cycles of the heavens. The skies are marked with numberless sparks, each a fire, and every one a sign. You mean a constellation? I know these stars well, and I wonder which sign marked your birth. This is typical of Elder Scrolls games as well. You get to choose which sign you were born under. Different signs do different things. Like the shadow lets you go invisible once a day for 60 seconds. Honestly, a lot of them aren't very useful or they're only useful at the very beginning of the game. 
I'm gonna go with the thief because it raises my attributes. And in the long run, that's more useful. The signs I read show the end of my path. My death, a necessary end, will come when it will come. Obviously.